Uh, hello everyone, my name is Kyobi from iDesign Impression and today I'm going to talk about Chrome. You know, it's of late Chrome, they started launching their OS and it's quite a little bit, of, not most of the people are not using it, but hey, it's so good. But if you're using Windows and you want to enjoy some applications of Chrome, this is what you have to do. Just go to the Chrome store, then download the Chrome application launcher. And this, I have mine right here. So what you're going to do is, today I'm going to talk about something we call Polar. So let me get my Chrome launcher started. So as you can see, I've downloaded a lot of stuff here. I have Chrome, Web Store, Google Docs, Google Drive, and etc. Today, what you're going to learn about is the Polar, this one particular here. So let's get started. Now, before we start everything else, I want to talk about a little bit about the this polar. Now, this polar software, I find it very interesting. Actually, I'm a graphic designer, and what I used to do is sometimes, if I want to add effects to images and other stuff, the only option that I've only software I'll be using is Photoshop, and I have it right here. I'm using the version CC 2014 version. Now, I found this one very interesting, very simple, very sharp. You can use it anytime, any way you want. It's not good, it doesn't need any internet connection. You just have to open it and use it. You can add it, whatever effect that you want to apply to your image and whatever you call it. So, let's get started. Now, if you open this, is the very windows that you're going to get. Now, this is the main windows that you get when you open this polar. This is what you get and they try to give you tutorial because i've passed mine so you wouldn't see it there but i will take you through everything that you need to know so the very image i'm going to open now what you have to do is you just go to if you want to open or start your photo what you're going to do is going to start from import so you just click on this particular button here import and you look for the particular image and this is the particular image i downloaded from google website so we're going to use this image. Okay, let's try another image here. Let's see if we can get another image. Okay, okay, I think this one too will do. So let's use this particular image. Very nice picture here. Now, immediately open the polar. You're going to see a lot of effects here. We got focus, warm, then cinema, cinema, cinematic, chill kappa triple scam and whatever 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 i don't want to go through all this one but you can apply any effect to whatever that you have and so you can apply any effects and you see all the effects that you get over here so i can change colors some also give you nice little effect and other stuff so what we're going to do is let's skip to the the normal one first so we can apply our own effect over here now let's come back to my right hand side here now as you can see we have adjustment panels that you can use to adjust you have histogram just like photoshop when you open maybe adjustment panels where you see tone curves and other stuff so let's start from this basis now this is time now this is what it do you change the time it picks a particular color and change the channels of it fair enough good now this is tint now tint is also common in photoshop when you use black and white and you can also check on tint and you can do a lot of stuff with it so you tint the image so you can see the effects that i'm getting here let's go to the exposure this one too is normal those who will be using photoshop this is normal to you i'm using exposure that is making dark or white over there so let's stick to let's use some one is okay one is okay then the gamma also gives lights and shadings lights shadows and other stuff so it makes it darker and brighter yeah as you can see the control also boost colors so you can boost the color of it and it can, or you can make it less dark or something like that so that is a contract anyway then it is highlights and shadows just like you have been doing in photoshop now in photoshop you also have highlights and shadows there you go to image and you can do you go to image and adjustments you can use highlights and shadows there this one's also having so you can adjust the highlights parts of it you can also bring the shadows so that you see the effects that is all given here it's all good it's a really nice effect what you have here so you can also adjust whites in the images and you can also adjust black as well then you have clarity now the clarity is what i need most sometimes somebody will snap a picture and you see you say wow 
this picture looks so smooth and the person doesn't even have a blemish or a spot on the face sometimes you use photoshop you can clear all blemish but if you want to apply to the whole image you use clarity here or clarify so what you do is you can adjust it and you see that the more you go or the higher you go the details it gives you and the lesser you come the smooth it gives you so i think that one or two is fair enough so since we want details let's use details here so that the image looks a little sharp so that you see all the details yeah and vibrance also give you a nice a little bit warm-ups like cool colors and other stuff so you can also get the more you come back you get black and white in it or saturation in the also dipping colors so you can also use this one to compare with the contrast i think this one and this one this one is a little bit different from this so you can use the vibrant but this, since this one is a little nice let's maintain it here so that we get the deep color and you can also adjust the saturation this is the less you come the black and white it becomes and the more you go the color the deeper the color it becomes so let's use that one also there okay then let's go to the next one we have tone curves you can adjust master that is for all the lights you can also adjust red that is you make all red you can adjust them here you can also make green adjust green in it that's cool then blue since you have blue in there you can adjust the blue i think this effect is a little bit nice let's maintain this one yeah i think this one is cool then you come to hue saturation and luminance yeah this one too is very common in photoshop the hue saturation the hue changes color saturation makes it black and white so you can just change the red all the red in here just to make it a little bit nice cap that you want and you can also make the orange choose oranges now you don't have any orange here so when i'm using it you won't you won't see any effect you can also adjust your look so you see that this part this part changing over there yeah so you can make it green and aqua just like the water color you don't really have it there so that's all yeah. you can adjust it anywhere you want it then this is split toning this also hue saturation i will not talk about this maybe in the next video you'll be talking about that now let's come back straight to the details now people have been capturing picture you see a lot of details i think the details we added some here that is the shadows and the highlights and they can also use vibrance to do it and a whole lot of stuff but hey they have details right here if you want to add more details to your image this is what you do so you can see this is before this is after so you see the effect over here gives you all the shadows and the highlights over there and the picture look a little good so let's go on and this is the noise this the noise makes this picture smoother the more you, you go the smoother the image and the less you come the shadow the sharpness that it gives and we have lens variation for distortion you can just distortion and fringing so you fringe you go inside distort you come out so it protrudes like you bring it out a little bit and the less you go it shrinks it Cool. so let's maintain zero here okay then this is the fringe and like you adding borders to it or it's either you're adding the borders inside or this one can be some people have been using in photo effects and video effects hey fair enough if you know how to use it just use it and drop a comment this is grain this is grain also add amount of grain there or the grain size also come so how big the grain is gonna become but i won't i won't like to use that one then the vignettes vignettes just like in photoshop you can have vignettes blur and other stuff where it makes this kind of sear black or darker then that's also you can add vignettes to it the more you go inside the less you come the darker it becomes the more you go the lighter it becomes so let's maintain our zero here I know you guys know already let's have now the last thing i want to talk about is the chromatic shift now the chromatic shift most of the times people have been using it in the videos and it's very nice hey right here you can use it in your email too so let's take it this is the chromatic shift very nice very nice effect that you got here so you have image you can add a chromatic effect here that's all now let's come back to it you see that i've applied a lot 
of adjustments here so what you're gonna do is if you don't want to do any or if you want to undo something you have a history here so you just click on the history and you can see all the history here let's minimize this one so that we see it clearly so this is what I started first I imported the image and the looks I just make it focal v2 then I apply warm chill cinematic calming clear and whatever whatever to it then I came here to the term tent exposure adjustments now you can all always come back to wherever you are if you want to you can also go up if I want to so that's it for this tutorial I hope you enjoy it and don't forget to subscribe I will see you in another tutorial my name is Kelby